Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. So as shared and discussed with you that today we are going to learn punctuation marks. Now, to begin with, we'll first talk about the essential ones which we use in our day to day conversation. So first, the first punctuation mark which we are going to discuss today is. What is this? This dot? What is this dot called as? Yes, this dot is called as a full stop. Now, what is a full stop? What is the purpose of using a full stop in our sentence? Yes, the main purpose, objective of using a full stop in our sentences is to mark the end of the sentence, is to mark the end of a sentence. Now, can you imagine or think that without a full stop, without using a full stop, will I be able to complete my sentence? Will I be able to write a meaningful sentence? Will I be able to convey a meaningful sentence? Yes, you're right. No, we cannot convey a meaning. We cannot give a meaning to our sentences if we don't use a word at the end of our sentences. It gives it a meaning. Where else do we use this dot? Yes, when we're writing, Mr. When we are writing, Doctor. When we are writing, Miss. When we are writing, Mrs. So these, you know, we use this dot here, which, you know, tells us that now, yes, I can begin my next word with, a capital letter, the name with a capital letter. So this marks the end of a sentence so that my sentence is meaningful. Now the second punctuation mark which we are going to talk about is an exclamatory mark. It is an exclamatory mark. Wow exclamation or an exclamatory mark both are correct exclamation or an exclamatory mark both are correct just a line and a dot below it now what is the use what is the purpose of using an exclamatory mark in our sentences what is the purpose the purpose is to express the purpose is to express a feeling the purpose is to express an emotion now the emotion or the feeling can be of happiness it can be of excitement that when you won you know you win a competition it can be a feeling of sadness sorrow when we lose so exclamatory mark they are essential because only through this mark we get to know, you know, the feeling I am going to express. So let's look at the example of an exclamatory sentence. There are two ways. One is what a beautiful day exclamatory mark. This is one way of writing using an exclamatory mark in the sentence. Now what can be the another way? Wow. You are looking beautiful. Now did you notice I have used two punctuation marks. One over here in this sentence, exclamatory mark, it marks the end. Second is here, wow, exclamatory mark and a full stop to mark the end of my sentence. 
to mark the end of my sentence. See, question mark is for questions. Exclamatory mark is for exclamation. But other than these two, whenever we are writing a sentence, any declarative sentence, we need to use a full stop. Now, the sixth third punctuation mark, which a basic one we are going to talk about is, what is this? Which punctuation mark is this? Good, you're right. This is a question mark. This is a question mark. Now, what is the use of the question? What is the use of this question mark? This question mark enables me, anybody, to ask a question. If I won't put this question mark at the end of a given sentence, nobody will get to know whether I'm asking a question or not. If I just write, what is your name? My name is Mahindra. Will I be able to tell you, present a question is being asked or not? Till the time my intonation or the modulation has this question mark. What is your name? You know, automatically there is a question mark at the end of my sentence. And when I'm writing it, what is your name? When I'm writing it, I have to put a question mark. If I will not use this question mark, my sentence, you know, in itself is incomplete. The sentence is incomplete. Now let's look at one more uh, punctuation mark in this video and in the next I'll take others. The fourth one. Let's look at fourth punctuation mark. The fourth punctuation mark which we are going to do is, the fourth one is a quotation Fourth one is quotation marks. Now, these quotation marks, what are these? What is the symbol for this quotation mark? Can you people guess it? Yes, correct. Very good. This is the symbol for a quotation mark. This is a symbol for quotation mark. And what, you know, what is presented through these quotation marks? What do I present through these quotation marks? I present that, you know, something is being quoted directly. For example, she said, comma, I've used one more. My inverted commas begin because I'm starting the quote. My inverted commas begin because I'm starting the quote now. She said, I will come tomorrow. She said, I will come tomorrow. Now, kids over here, what did I do? I have started my quote with an inverted comma. I have ended my quote again with an inverted comma. And how did I get to know my sentences ended over here? Because when I had used a full stop. So basically in this sentence, if you identify, we have used three. We have used three punctuation marks. Which one did we use? We used a comma first because to separate the speaker from what he's saying. Then I have used an inverted comma, double inverted commas here. Then to end my sentence, I've used full stop. And after the full stop, I have used double inverted commas. After full stop, I have used double inverted commas. Now, Let's take one more because I've as I've already introduced comma over here. So let's talk about commas as well. And that will be the fifth, which we are going to discuss today. And to your surprise, let me tell you kids, we have 14 
how many punctuation marks do we have? 14 punctuation marks. So out of these 14 punctuation marks, this is the fifth one which I am going to discuss with you. And it is a comma. And it is a comma. Already shared, this is a comma. Now, one way of using, one, you know, use of this comma is when I have separated my speaker in the quote which I was writing. Second way of, you know, second area or place or way of using this comma is when I have to formulate and write my list in form of a sentence. I have a pencil eraser and marker. Now, do you think the sentence is perfectly correct? Isn't it looking some, you know, isn't it looking strange or weird to you? Spend two, three, five seconds and understand and analyze. Isn't it looking weird? It's looking weird to me though. I don't, but it's looking weird. Yes, you're right. Why is it looking weird? Is it looking weird? Because I have to put a comma here. I am separating it out. This is my list of things which I have. If I will not separate it out, my sentence remains incomplete. Nobody will be able to analyze what am I going to say? What do I want to present? I need to use this using a when we have a speaker and the speaker is saying and I have to separate my speaker. The second place where we use a comma is where do we use a comma? Is? When we have to separate out the list of the things given. So then also we use a comma. And now we have a third place of using a comma when I am joining two individual sentences using a comma. For example, if I say that, okay, let's let's use this sentence only. I have a pencil, comma, eraser. I have a pencil, comma, but the eraser is missing. Now I have. The eraser is missing in itself is a separate sentence. It's making a complete meaning. I have a pencil is also a complete sentence. Now I have used but, which is, you know, just to join these two sentences. But now as I am joining these two sentences, I'm using this comma here. I am using this comma here. This is another use of comma when we, you know, use it in form of a sentence in the sentence. Are the five punctuation marks, kids, which we have learned today. And after this, now in the next video, we learn rest of the punctuation marks as well. And I'm going to send, share very soon some interesting assignments so that, you know, you can easily, comfortably understand the use of all these punctuation marks, which we have done. So let's quickly recap. What did we do today? We have done, we have taken up, understood where to use a full stop. Then we have understood where to use a question mark. We have understood how to use an exclamatory mark, what and where to use inverted commas. And last but not the least, we've understood a comma, which I have placed everywhere in this list. Full stop, comma, question mark, comma, invert, exclamatory mark, comma, inverted, double inverted commas. So this is what we have learned today. And very soon we have the rest. We'll understand the usage of next rest of the punctuation marks as well. So see you soon, kids. And practice, practice, because practice makes us improve our mistakes.